Hey viewers, today I'm gonna to explain how index shifting works. It's a really little cool little system and it's pretty simple. Uh, the, the rear derailleur has a uh, set ratio of uh, cable pull to cage movement. In uh, like So for every millimeter of cable pull, the cage will move over a certain amount. Now this is a Shimano SIS rear derailleur. Uh, Shima, SIS is a Shimano index system and the standard for SIS rear derailleurs is 1.7. So for every millimeter of cable pull, the cage will move over 1.7 millimeters. Now in this case here, this is a 10 speed uh, cassette. The cogs are spaced about 3.95 millimeters apart. So for every click of the uh, shifter, the cage needs to move over about 3.95 millimeters. What that works out to is about 2.3 millimeters of cable pull. So as I'm riding along here, I press the uh, shifter. The shifter will pull the cable about 2.3 millimeters and the cage moves over about 3.95 millimeters there. I click it again, it pulls another 2.3 millimeters of cable, the cage moves over another 3.95 millimeters and it shifts up to the next cog. The same goes the other way. If I go ahead and click shift down, it releases 2.3 uh, millimeters of cable and the cage moves over 3.95 millimeters that way. Now this bike here has a seven speed freewheel on it. And so the, the spacing on this is about five millimeters. So they're farther apart than they were on the 10 speed cassette but the, the derailleur here is still a Shimano SIS, so it still has the same ratio of 1.7, but for each uh, click of the shifter, the uh, cage and chain need to be move, move over farther than it did on the 10-speed cassette. So since this has a seven-speed uh, shifters, it's gonna pull the cable 2.9 millimeters for each shift and move the chain over five millimeters. So there's five millimeters, five millimeters. So each shift it's pulling the cable about 2.9 millimeters and with that 1.7 uh, ratio, it's moving the, the cage over farther. And so that's how it works. So if you have a six speed uh, freewheel on there, you want six speed shifters. If you have a nine speed uh, cassette on there, you want nine speed shifters so that the shifting works to pull the right amount of cable to move that uh, times 1.7 to move the chain over the, the right amount uh, for the cog spacing on that. Now other brands of uh, rear derailleurs like Campy or SRAM are going to have different ratios. Like Campy I think used a 1.4 and 1.5 uh, millimeters ratio. So for the same amount of cable pull the rear derailleur is not going to move as far and so a Shimano shifter is just not going to work with a Campy rear derailleur. You're going to need a Campy uh, shifter so that it moves over the right amount uh, for your freewheeler cassette. Anyway, I hope all that makes sense. It's a really cool little system. I hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the little logo up in the corner and subscribe. You can see videos come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page, post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there and check that page out as well. Thank you very much for watching.